taking the Keystone guys riding. Came here to Tennessee to show us some new stuff on the Raptors, but you can't come here to Tennessee, especially to our property, and not go riding. It's what we do. You know, having this kind of stuff here for us, I mean, yeah, we get to ride all over the world, but man, this is just, get out here, nobody's around, and it's just yeah, quiet, peaceful, a lot yeah, of wildlife. Too. I had a purpose was gunning it, just because I knew I'd kick up some stuff. <laughs> yeah, that's bad when the guy in front of you is dusting you out. <laughs> yeah. I'm Brian Fisher. Growing up, I always had a love for the outdoors and riding ATVs and side-by-sides. So I found a way to turn my passion into a lifestyle. I travel the world to explore the most scenic trails, take on some of the toughest terrain, and challenge myself to some of the deepest mud holes. The best part, my wife Melissa, my daughter Brianna, my son Brady, and even our dog Max gets to come along for the ride too. You never know where the trail might take us, but you can always count on it being a cool adventure. Join us as we keep it real and hit the trails on Fisher's ATV World. Taking the Keystone guys riding. Honestly, between you and me, I don't think they came here to show me any updates and improvements <laughs> or anything on the Raptor. I think seriously they were like, hey, we're in Tennessee, let's go see Fisher, he's been inviting us riding. So here we are, we're going riding, but it's a beautiful day for it. Great fall afternoon, the leaves are changing, it's probably about 70 degrees, perfect day to ride. This is a really good machine, super easy to drive. It's just really like taking a, a car out on the trails. This one has a radio and everything else. This one's kind of like a more of a deluxe edition machine. So it's got more bells and whistles. This is a thousand. You'll have a good time. It'll be fun. Everybody Perfect. will be good. Perfect. Yep. Perfect. Awesome. We'll have fun. Let's go. All right. Let's uh, get our helmets on, saddle up, and do some riding. This is a Stampede 900, and we're going to take her out and do some trail riding today. We're going to have fun. Show these Keystone boys what it's all about. Get them out of the office a little bit. And this is. This is my world, this is my work. <laughs> Put all calls on hold, we're hitting the trails. Keystone's one of the largest RV manufacturers um, in the world right now. We strictly make towables, whether it comes to travel trailers or fifth wheels, and even park models. When we first came out, it was made toward strictly toy haulers, meaning that the garage cargo area looked just like a garage cargo area. So anybody who owned you know, ATVs, motorcycles, anything they wanted to put back there, that's what that was made for. But now it's different. Basically, we're trying to attract all fifth wheel buyers or potential buyers. And that back end could be set up for a bedroom, a den, a work area, whatever you want it to be. You roll out the carpet, get set up, and you got yourself a wonderful living area. I had a purpose was gunning it just because I knew I'd kick up some stuff. <laughs> yeah, that's bad when the guy in front of you is dusting you out. <laughs> yeah, the first hill was the worst when we were coming up. It hadn't rained in a while. It's pretty dusty. I knew coming up that first hill, I was like, oh my gosh. You, I couldn't see you nothing. You probably laughing. Tim's headlights, I was like, oh, this isn't it'll good. Teach, it'll teach those Keystone guys. Yeah. <laughs> that's one of the, the beauties of having the Raptor out in the middle of nowhere when we're riding is we get back and get a hot shower. Because I'm telling you, man, you get out there and you're riding all day long and you're dusty and dirty and muddy and you're just like, ugh. But it's nice, you know, because with all the fresh water, we can all get showers. It works out good. Anytime we have somebody new come to our property, we'll go over the machine with them because they may not be familiar with the side-by-side -side I'm putting them in. So I'll go over everything, how it works, and then we'll get out on a trail and I'll always take the easiest trails first and then I'll maybe stop along our trail ride and I'll tell them, you're gonna need four low for this, you're gonna need high for this, just to kind of give them an idea. And within about an hour of riding on our property, they've got it down pat. They know when to use two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, high gear, low gear. So just a little bit of education and helping them out goes a long way.
Well, we always wear helmets when we go riding. It's just like any other sport out there. You look at professional baseball players or football players or even our friends in NASCAR. When they come over the wall, they've got a helmet on because you just never know when something's going to happen. The smallest impact to your head could change your life, and we just want to make sure everybody's protected, safe, and has a good ride. These machines have engine braking, so when we're coming down a hill, you're gonna feel it holding you back. If it does get to a point where you feel it freewheeling, which you'll feel it just kinda of lets go and you'll hear it like like all you have to do is just tap the gas because what that does is engage the clutch a little bit. It's a centrifugal clutch, so you'll engage the clutch a little bit and it'll actually slow you back down. So in reality, where you think you should be hitting the brake, you just tap that gas a little bit and it brings the clutch in and uses that to slow you down. You know, having this kind of stuff here for us, I mean, yeah, we get to ride all over the world, but man, this is just, get out here and nobody's around and it's just yeah, quiet, peaceful, a lot it of wildlife. Too. It is all that. Yeah, it's a great property. It is all, it's amazing how you got this all carved out for this too. That is amazing. Yeah. And lots of it too. Oh yeah. Yeah, we still got some, quite a few trails we didn't even hit yet. We knew we had to make one big trail on the outside perimeter of the property, mm -hmm. and that's what we worked on first, and then kind of worked on the other. So it gives you access to get back, and you yep. just, if you get... And the get other fingers spot. to work into it, yeah. We're getting to the point now to where we're going to start shutting some trails down and opening others because of erosion or, you know, we just really used that trail pretty hard, so now mm -hmm. we'll shut that one down, and then we'll move it over or take a different path to mm -hmm. give, it a, give it a chance to grow back up and kind of rejuvenate sure. itself. Sure. Well, I know it was a little bit dusty today, but man, we had some great trail riding. It's perfect weather. And I think what we're going to do now is we're just going to ride a little bit more and then we'll go check out the new Raptor you guys brought. Fisher's ATV World is brought to you by Can-Am, ITP Tires and Wheels, Suzuki, Keystone Raptor Toy Haulers, and B and W trailer hitches. Side by sides are a lot of fun, and you can take just about anybody that knows how to drive a car, a truck, a Jeep, and put them in it and have them out on the trail. And with a little bit of coaching and with a couple hours of riding, they're really comfortable with it. And the coolest thing about a side by side, and all of us took side by sides, is because you like that experience of driving, and it's kind of like getting a Jeep out there on the trail and being able to control it by yourself. You know, a lot of us guys don't like riding passengers, so, you know, we all took a side by side and went out and hit the trail. Our trails are extremely dusty. It really hasn't rained here in Tennessee for quite a while. And the best thing to do when you're riding in dusty conditions is hang back. And unfortunately, when we're filming, we tighten things up a little bit. So the second, third, fourth guy in line is gonna eat a lot of dust just because we're getting everything on camera. But when you're out there just trail riding with your friends, you may separate a little bit. Like when we were just riding in the Baja with Can-Am, we were a minute to two minutes apart between uh, side by side. So that way we weren't eating a lot of dust. And we always keep our lights on so that way someone can see you coming through the dust. It's a lot like driving your car in a foggy situation. You just want to make sure other riders can see you. All right, guys, what'd you think? Brian, it was awesome. Had a real good time. Well, I'm glad I could get thanks you out for, of the office. Thanks for taking us out. Yeah, thanks for coming. Yeah, thanks yeah. for having us. Jim and I were actually down visiting some dealers and we thought it'd be a great idea to bring a unit by and uh, show you some of the changes we've done this year and get your feedback on it and show some of yours, see what they think. Yeah, well I can tell by looking at the outside you definitely made some changes already, but you got a lot of cool stuff going on out here. 
Yeah, we did a lot of upgrades this year. We made the exterior a little more aggressive because we're trying to make this thing look like the beast that it is on the outside again. Obviously with the graphics package, we stuck with the four major truck colors in America, which are white, black, gray, and silver. Kind of get away from any objections as far as matching my truck. You mentioned the skirt metal, we want the more aggressive look. It's kind of got a carbon fiber texture to it. And then we also increased the windows and the slide box, the size of them, because we had a lot of feedback from customers saying they wanted more natural light. And then the four-step main entry was always such a huge success that we decided to add it onto the rear entrance as well. Actually, everything in this floor plan is exactly the same as yours from the front bedroom all the way to the garage area. The only difference on the interior is the fact that yours has a 14-foot garage and this has an 11-foot garage. What we are trying to accomplish with this unit is giving somebody the same awesome living space that the 398 had, but in a smaller version because there is a certain segment of the population that whether it be they don't have a truck that's big enough to pull a triple axle, yeah. or the area of the country where it's just tighter turning radiuses and things like that, that they just want that tandem axle. I can see how having a unit this size would pay off, especially some of the areas we've been in and say West Virginia or New England, or even out west, you get in some really tight places, so a tandem axle unit would definitely pay off. Right off the bat, the thing you'll notice first in here is we changed the wallboard so it's a little brighter in here. It goes along with the larger windows because we're trying to get more natural light and make it brighter inside of the coach. Along with that, we also lightened up the glass and the door inserts so everything has a lighter, brighter, more airy feel inside the coach. We did add a more residential looking sink that's a kind of a squared off sink that you'd find in a house nowadays because a lot of times you'll see in some of the RVs those little sinks, you really can't put anything in there because there's no depth to them. So we're trying to accomplish that because we're always trying to upgrade and make things more user friendly for the customers. Love the stove top too. Yeah, we did make a change there. I actually went to a glass stove top cover. We had great feedback on the countertop being a solid surface. The only problem was is there's never really a good space to put it. It was kind of in the way. Whereas this, you can just fold it up and store it on the back here. So you get the ease of having a stove top cover, which gives you more countertop space and you don't have to worry about where you're gonna store it. The garage layout's exactly the same, except for this is an 11 foot garage box versus a 14 foot. The biggest change we did last year, which customers still appreciate and we talk about a lot, is the Happy Jack bed system being able to fold down up against the sidewall. So it accommodates either people who have height issues with jacked up UTVs, or if they want to put double four wheelers, stack them side by side, they can still store the beds flat or they can lay them down up against the wall. So your half bath is behind this whole wall here. Yeah, we uh, actually hid it behind the entertainment center so that way you didn't lose any garage space. So we wanted to make sure we gave the customers a true 11 foot garage. So I think the biggest benefits to having a fifth wheel are living space because it offers more living space when you get it set up. The toy hauler segment in general I feel is an awesome segment for anybody because whether you're looking for a bunkhouse or a place to store your toys, the garage gives you the ultimate ability to do anything you want with it. With the lineup that we have, we can accommodate anything from somebody that just wants to put a single motorcycle on the back end all the way up to the biggest UTV that's out on the market. So I've had customers tell me they use it for home gyms. I've had people that use it for businesses, for you know school clothing. I've had ladies that have told me they use it for dog show prep because of the half bath. They'll take their dogs in there and actually groom them back there and then take them into the show. So really when it comes to versatility in the towable market, the fifth wheels are way ahead of anything else that's out there. If you've never owned an RV before, the important thing is to look at the quality of the coach and also investigate the rest, reputation of that manufacturer. After you've done that, pick out the floor plan that you desire, make sure it's accommodating to everyone involved, the garage space to fit all your toys or anything that you're bringing with you. As these side-by-sides grow longer, that's as we stretch our cargo garage area longer. We're trying to just meet the demands of, of what's out there. Our units are only 100 inches wide. So we got to figure out how we could fit everything in a coach to accommodate all the buyers out there. That's a super nice thing with that 14 foot garage. I mean, I know that tandem axle is nice for, you know, the garage and the space that somebody needs that and it suits them. That's great. But man, for us, that 14 foot garage is priceless. Mm -hmm. With a fifth wheel, number one is you have a vehicle you're towing with. So when you find that location where you disengage your truck from your fifth wheel, you have that to travel with. But also, your slide outs themselves can expand out so it creates more of a living area. And that's what we continue to hear about when it comes to our fifth wheels versus the motorhomes. Also, the bedroom layout is much more favorable in a lot of cases. 
What it boils down for Keystone is um, building the right products, building quality products, having the back end to support it, which is our customer service. It doesn't matter what brand it is, innovation I think is critical, and also the floor plans is, is something we take a lot of pride in. ATVs and side-by-sides are so much more than recreational use. You know, it seems like in the past we would go buy one, go out and hit the trails, and we were good with that. But nowadays, with all the accessories hitting the market, there's a lot more opportunities for us to use our machines for way more than we ever thought of. And the Wild Hair Implement System is one of those tools that's great for your ATV, and you'd be amazed what you could do with it. The Wild Hair Implement System is a fully hydraulic setup that mounts to your ATV and turns it into a mini tractor. So whether you're looking to use the front loader or the rear three-point hitch, Wild Hair has all kind of options to fit your needs. The Wild Hair System is made out of laser cut high strength steel so it's different than some of the competitive units and they're powder coated so it allows for higher strength to weight ratio. So one of the keys with a bucket or with a system like ours is to be able to lighten up the material so that you can put more material in the front of the bucket and carry so that you aren't carrying as much weight in the bucket itself but have it strong enough to be able to handle the loads that you're carrying so when we use high strength low alloy steels you can lighten up the bucket and then carry more materials in it. This is a great tool to add to your ATV, and it's kind of like in between the guy with the wheelbarrow and a shovel and the guy with a big tractor. Maybe you don't have room for a big tractor or the budget for a big tractor. So to add this onto your ATV is really kind of perfect for the person that has a small farm. Maybe you're doing some landscaping or a hunting lease. You have the same options and features as a big tractor, but in a much smaller package. On the front of our Wild Hair, we have the fork set up right now, and the nice thing about the forks is you can lift up to 300 pounds, up to five foot high, and then in a matter of seconds, you can change it out for the bucket, and with the bucket, it's the same. You can lift up to 300 pounds, up to five foot high, and it has 300 pounds of force, whether you're pushing, pulling, digging, no matter what it is. And then when we come to the rear of the ATV, you'll notice that we have the whole hydraulic system on the rear rack, and then it also has a separate battery that it runs off of, so that way it doesn't drain the battery on your ATV. And then back here, we have a three-point hitch, and this is nice whenever we're putting in food plots because we'll put our cultivator or disc on here. But right now, we have a 50-inch box blade on, and with us having a gravel driveway, when it rains and gets rutted out, this really comes in handy. We have our Wild Hair Implement System set up on our Suzuki King Quad 750, and really this will fit just about any ATV 400 cc's and up. And something else you'll definitely want to do is add the suspension lock that they send you, because it really keeps your suspension from compressing whenever you're hauling heavy loads and makes it much more stable. The great thing about our system is that it can grow with you, so as you need uh, new implements or new things for new projects around your house, those can be purchased, and our goal is to continue to develop implements to handle different chores. We've been using our wild hair implement system around our property to maintain our driveway, work on our trails, put in food plots, and the fork option has been great for unloading trucks and moving skids around. It's a real time and money saver. And if you're looking to get the most out of your ATV, the wild hair implement system will turn it into a true workhorse. Closed captioning provided by Rick's Motorsport Electrics. Fisher's ATV World has been brought to you by Western Power Sports and Fly Racing, Rush Off-Road Park, Can Cooker, Dirt Wheels Magazine, and ATV UTV Action Magazine. We've been using U-Trax trailers for about the last five or six years, and we use this trailer for everything. We'll go out on our property and we'll cut up firewood and bring it back to the house. We'll trim brush and even mulch around the house and hunting season. It comes in really handy for game retrieval. And we'll load our tree stands up in this and go out and set up tree stands for hunting season. It's definitely a versatile trailer and has really stood the test of time. 
I've used a lot of trailers over the last few years, and the Utrax trailer is one of the best trailers we've ever used. Some of the reasons I really, really like this trailer, and I think it's very functional, is because it has the pivoting tracking beam suspension on it, where a lot of your trailers will have a solid axle to it. So when you come up against a log and you hit, that back tire bounces up in the air to get over the obstacle. Whereas this is almost kind of like a caterpillar or even like a skid steer. It'll kind of creepy crawl up over and back down over that obstacle. So you get really minimal trailer bounce. And another thing that I really like about this trailer is it has four extra heavy duty wide tires on it. You know, a lot of your trailers are have really skinny tires and they just can't handle the off-road terrain. This trailer is designed for the true off-roader that needs rugged equipment. The cool thing about the Utrax trailer is you can use it on your ATV or your side-by-side. -side. It's not too big or small to get the job done. This week's tip of the week is brought to you by Ward Industries. Fall is here, the temperatures are dropping, and before long, the snow is gonna be flying. And if you're like me, you still enjoy riding your ATV or side-by-side -side in the winter, even when it's cold out. And one thing that we've done to make our rides a lot more comfortable is add Heat Demon accessories to our ATV or side-by-side. -side. Heat Demon has everything from a seat heater kit to a heated hand warmer grip for your ATV to a thumb warmer for your ATV. And one of the coolest things that they have that they just came out with is a heated steering wheel. And we're gonna be adding this to our side-by-side -side to make sure that we enjoy our winter rides a whole lot more. So if you like winter riding as much as I do, check out Heat Demon Accessories. Well folks, that's all the time we have this week. Thanks a lot for joining us. We hope you enjoyed the show and if you're on the web, you can check us out at fishersatvworld.com and until next week, ride on and keep it real. Pulling, digging, whatever it is, I'm at a loss for words. <laughs> That's probably the baddest boy on the block. Which one? Wolverine. Wolverine. Oh. He likes the Wolverine. Michigan. Wolverine. I love the Wolverine. Actually, this one is the baddest boy. Oh, on that the block. is the bad boy. <laughs> I, I think they mislabeled it and put the sticker on the wrong one. Well, it looks good on the outside. Let's check it out on the inside. No. <laughs> he started laughing at me. <laughs> he was laughing. This is serious. Serious business. This is where the fish reel comes from. Mm -hmm. But Heat Demon has recently come out with something that I'm gonna add to my side-by-side. -side. I just knocked all that down right there. I just pulled the cord out.